Schönen guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your patience. We have waited for the live stream to start. We'll proceed to the opening of the new special exhibition, Visualized Streams at Museum Cooking. I would like to extend a warm welcome to everyone, including those who are watching us via live stream. And I'm delighted that so many of you have come live to celebrate this exhibition opening together on site. I would like to welcome some guests by name. On behalf of the Governor of Lower Austria, Johanna Michel Leitner, I would like to welcome Christoph Kaufmann, a member of the Lower Austrian Parliament. I would also like to welcome Verena Peschel, the City Councillor for Culture, and Municipal Councillor Barbara Probst, a warm welcome to you. A cordial welcome to you. Welcome also to Stefan Köck and Bettina Köck, the lenders of this exhibition. And on behalf of the Lower Austrian Regional Collections, Reza Fallacher. And I would also like to welcome all the artists present today, Laila Bachtia, Erich Dressler, Lois Egg, Johann Garber, Helmut Ladisch, Peter Capella, Johannes Lechner, also known as Lecher, Arnold Schmidt and Jürgen Tauscher. Last but not least, I would like to welcome the friends of the House of Artists in Guggeng, our sponsors, corporation partners and guests of honor. And I would like to thank all those who have contributed to this exhibition. And now I would like to hand over to Johann Feilacher, the curator of the exhibition and the artistic director of the museum, Guggeng. After this very long time that we couldn't open any exhibitions together, I'm very pleased that we are now back live. It's a bit more complicated uh, than usual with the text and everything, but what's really good is that we can really be here live together, face to face, and then we can also see the works of art live. Of course, we've learned we can now send the live stream to America and everywhere else, so we have a bigger audience and I hope that many of those will then be coming to our country and see the works in the original. Visualized dreams it means wishes, fantasies that have been visualized. That's the overarching term that describes the exhibition of the three artists presented here, Ida Buchmann from Switzerland and Johann Koretz and Johann Fischer. They are all artists from Guggen, who you are all familiar with. They have several things in common. One thing is, as we mentioned, they are using their fantasies and turning them into pictures, into writing. They write what they think, what they'd like to have, their wishes, are directly implemented at the visual level. The second thing is that they all are, are Brit artists or outside artists, outsider artists, so they are uninfluenced from the outside, they are not influenced by any cultural art or any fashion or fad or any traditional forms of art. And they have something else in common. What unites them is they all had a difficult fate and at some point they had a long-term stay in a psychiatric ward. And the last thing they have in common is that in spite of everything, because of their talent, they 
managed to express themselves and Johann Fischer, Johann Koritz and Ida Buchmann could also enjoy their art. Ida Buchmann was born in Eglisville in Switzerland, a small village. She had a somewhat difficult childhood at the age of 18. Her mother died at the age of 23. Her father died. She then had to look after her siblings, her sisters. At the age of 30, she married herself, but she was always subject to changing moods, and that got her into difficulties. And she then wound up in the psychiatric ward in Königsfelden. It's a medium-sized psychiatric ward, similar to what we have here in Guggen. She spent a long time there, because she was born in 1911, and only at the age of 75, there was a psychiatrist in this psychiatric ward who discovered her artistic talent. Dr. Roman Buxbaum was his name. He's uh, Swiss originally. He came originally from Czechoslovakia. Uh, he had emigrated from Czechoslovakia and he was here a lot in the 1980s. And he looked at how we deal with artists here. He went back to Switzerland and he worked with Ida Buchmann and he really discovered her and he found that Ida Buchmann had a special talent, a really special talent. As you can see, she's wild, she's emotional. Whenever she was in a good mood, she would sing and she would create her works of art while she was singing. And the texts that you find on these pictures are texts of songs, primarily coming from her hometown in Swiss German. Unfortunately, I don't always understand it. But on the other hand, she also used some romantic songs from operettas. And you can read those texts on her pictures. We can read those, even though we don't know Swiss German. I saw Ida Buchmann when she produced some of these works of art, and it was really a pleasure to see how quickly she could produce these works on canvas or on paper. During a major exhibition in the Delon Art Exhibition Hall in Cologne, Germany, she took over the show, so to speak. It's a huge hall with, uh, I think, 500 pictures, 40 artists exhibiting there. And she would sing during the opening of the exhibition and let everybody through the exhibition. So that was a really interesting event. The second artist in alphabetic order, actually if you come in, uh, it is the first one. Johann Fischer uh, was born in Eggendorf am Wagram, so he's a local. He became a baker, he learned the trade of a baker, he was uh, born in 1919 and in 1940 he was drafted. 1946 he returned from American captivity and he felt better than ever before. He had uh, incredible ideas and he distributed millions of Austrian shillings, our currency back then, to many people. He informed the various heads of the different parties what they should do and then he was also involved uh, in some bigger business transactions where he no longer was able to pay and then he wound up in the psychiatric ward in Guggen. But he didn't really stand out. He was a very calm, quiet patient under Leo Navratil in Pavilion 2. So he was very calm and quiet. Initially he didn't want to draw like all the other artists, Johann Hauser or Fritz Koller or Philipp Schöpke. He was unobtrusive and did not really stand out. And then Leon Navratil was assigned Pavilion 11, the House of Artists. And back then it was a Department for Infectious Diseases and Alcoholics. So he was assigned this pavilion and this is where he invited 
the artist that had been known to him previously had been invited there. He only had seven or eight, but he had to cover 18 spots. And this is why he also brought in calm and quiet patients. And Johann Fischer was one such calm, quiet patient, uh, never stood up. And, well, he was dressed in an elegant fashion. And he sat in the day room and uh, he saw how the people were drawing there. He was interested and he thought, well, I can do that too. And then he started drawing simple figures, animals. You will be able to see this in the exhibition, the first wall on the right. Over time, he added color. And already in 1983, so after two years, he was part of the exhibition in the Museum of the 20th Century in Vienna. So that's a good start. After two years' time, he already exhibited in the Museum of the 20th Century, so it was quite good. But then he developed further. He used more and more colors, and he also started to write texts on his pictures, things that were important to him, that he would otherwise uh, uh, write in letters and send to people. So he created pictures that convey his stories, and they're really stories, wishes, fantasies. So he really painstakingly wrote these down and then illustrated those texts. He also was able to enjoy his own exhibitions. He liked going to his exhibitions and he liked uh, reading his own texts there that maybe he had not seen for some time, whether it was here or later in the museum. And I still remember in the Czech National Gallery, it was a huge house and he immediately went straight for his pictures and he started reading what was on them. So he really enjoyed his own art and until his very last day he continued to work and I think he passed away at the age of 89. The third artist is the link between the Stoic Johann Fischer, who was really always uh, very self-reflexive and uh, did a lot of uh, painstaking research and papers, and Johann Cordes was very emotional on the one hand, and on the other hand he was also very precise when it came to selecting the work that he did. He himself had grown up in some children's homes in Vienna, he then worked as a farmhand and cowherd in various farms, and he then wound up in cooking in the psychiatric ward. But Leonardo started very early to draw with him, as opposed to Johann Fischer. It was already in 1960 that he did his first drawings, and he also wrote some texts, entire diaries. And Already in 1970, he was also there for the exhibition in the Galerie St. Stefan. In 72, 73, he did a lot of etchings and he then developed a style where he would take pictures from newspapers and then he copied them with carbon paper main persons there, whatever he liked, and he colored them and then added a text, whatever fitted his mood. So the main subject of his works is uh, with lovers, so eroticism, sex and couples. Another focus was the circus. He would have liked to be an animal keeper or tamer, and this is why there's always a circus, a zoo, lions, tigers, and visits to the zoo and safari park. So we don't have his biggest picture today, but I'm sure that you've seen it quite often here in the museum. It's a six meter long, three meter high picture, a canvas that says zoo. Actually, it's a just three little sloths, a couple of trees, but lots of lovers. Well, whatever belongs in a zoo, I guess, lovers. And all of that you can see on 
this side of the exhibition. But in order to enable you to take these impressions with you back home, we also published a catalog in the form of a book. The authors were Nina Ansberger, who cannot be with us today because she has a, a one-year-old child uh, that is unfortunately ill, so she had to cancel at this age, of course, so these things tend to happen. But anyway, you are going to see her, her as a curator here in the following. There are also texts from Nina Kaczneck, together with editor Helene Slanzar. They are very emotional and describe Johann Fischer and Johann Koritz uh, in a very direct way because they had known them and worked with them for a long time. And there's also Anke Wiedmann, who is going to give an art uh, history excursion on the technique used in this book. I'd also like to thank the lenders of this exhibition. We have a lot of the works of Ida Buchmann because uh, we have the heirs of Ida Buchmann and Galerie Cooking that we got from Nina Kaczneck. Then there's Hannah Riga with a couple of pictures. I think you know her as a collector. Then Franz Wohlfahrt and, as you've heard, we have Bettina and Stefan Köck. A cordial welcome and thank you for your loans. Furthermore, we have the Peter Infeld Privatstiftung, private foundation. Then the Hans Schmidt Privatstiftung, another private foundation. And we got this picture. And 14 years ago, there was an exhibition with Ida Buchmann here, and I also showed this picture back then. So the most loyal visitors of the museum will know this picture. And the Dome Museum, Cathedral Museum of Vienna has also given us some pictures on Dome, and also the Lower Austrian Regional Collections and Art Brut. KG. I would like to thank the team of Museum Cooking for the production. Anke Wiedmann, where is she? She's somewhere here. We are going to ask her to also discuss the techniques used. Marketing, Mariana Agria. She uh, represents her staff, uh, also the social media team, and Florian Müller, who is in charge of press relations. Unfortunately, I can't see those people. I'm blinded by the light. Uh, we also have a graphic artist. Uh, I'd like to thank her as well. We have done a lot of books together. Borsho Lazarevich is in charge of uh, filling up the exhibition. He's always somewhere in the background with the staff of the ABC project under Ines Asman and Luisa Kienzel. I would like to thank in particular Johanna Mikl-Leitner, the governor of Lower Austria, was always saying that we are her favorite museum. And thus, uh, she really does a lot of advertising for us. I couldn't uh, convince her to wear our logo yet, but we'll get there eventually. And today, she has uh, sent us the member of the provincial parliament, Christoph Kaufmann, who might now like to ask to open the exhibition. Dear Johann, dear councillors, dear artists, dear family Köck, ladies and gentlemen, yes, it is with great pleasure that uh, we are back live, that we are finally opening an exhibition again. I have the pleasure of uh, being here today. Our governor has apologized, and this is why I have the pleasure to open the exhibition on her behalf. Let me start with a quotation that I took from one of the many publications of Johann Feilacher. And I would also like to talk about the history of this museum. At a first glance, it was a house full of interesting personalities with different and remarkable talents, a place where there were a lot of tasks that were yet to be accomplished. This is what a young physician wrote, who met with Leo Navratil here. 
he already had some ideas in mind, I guess, and he was really impressed by what he had seen here. That was in 1983, if I remember correctly. And this young physician, Dr. Johann Feilacher, well, this is something that still holds true today. I don't know how you feel when you come here to the museum and this is still, of course, work in progress and there's a transformation that is unparalleled that has happened here. But it is still a house, an area full of interesting personalities with uh, very many different and remarkable talents. That applies to the area outside, the territory surrounding us, the Institute of Science and Technology of Austria, that we are very proud of here in Low Austria. I'm also a municipal councillor in my hometown of Kloster Neuburg, and we have this wonderful institute with researchers coming from more than 76 nations. And we are also very pleased that we continue to invest here. There's been a framework agreement between the federal government and the regional government. 3.28 billion euros will be invested in this area for basic research, for excellence in research, and up to 150 research teams with 2,000 employees will be created here with the global excellence in the area of uh, science and research that we are really proud of. And this excellence cannot only be seen when you look down, but we can also find this excellence here in Museum Cooking with our artists in the House of Artists. They are also famous, internationally recognized, and they always attract interested guests coming from all corners of our planet. And I'm very pleased in my capacity as the Municipal Council in charge of tourism. And we are now writing the new tourism strategy for Kloster Neuburg and Museum Guggen has, of course, a very important place in our strategy. And it is wonderful to see this development, to see what has happened. This year, in 2021, we have two anniversaries. 35 years of the House of Artists. I think this has been a very important step in 1986. The first step that Johann Feilacher took very quite consciously named the House of Artists the House of Artists. And he referred to them not as patients but as artists, which they are. And I think that is, is really proven as a strategy. And we are also celebrating 15 years of Museum Cooking. It was inaugurated in 2006, uh, and that also needs to be celebrated with this wonderful exhibition here. And thank you very much. I had uh, the opportunity of also seeing the publication of this exhibition, and it is really interesting to read about the history, the personalities, and to also hear about the personal experiences. Thank you, dear Nina Kaczynik, to also share your personal impressions with the artists that you have shared with us. So it's very interesting to read. We are not only celebrating these two anniversaries, these jubilees, but we also celebrate our artists. If I look at uh, the preamble, there is one sentence I would like to underscore because here we come full circle talking about science and artists and I read that these are works that come from the personal talents, experiences and circumstances of life of the artists. Dear Johann, you already said it, very different personalities of course, but they all have the same source of inspiration and their talents and experiences and their circumstances are reflected in their works. And this takes me back to science because the young researchers who are coming to Kloster Neuburg and Maria Gugging to the IST, they also have their talents, their experiences and their circumstances in their own lives that uh, in turn make this IST Austria project so interesting. And I think this balance between science and research on the one hand and artists 
here in the house of artists, on the other hand, so interesting. And it is great that it's all in the same area. And I would like to thank all those, not only the collectors who are always giving us these works of art on loan so that we can enjoy them here in Museum Gorking. And I really hope that a lot of people will be seeing this exhibition, so please do advertise it. We're also online, so please do advertise this online to make sure that a lot of people will come and enjoy this exhibition. And when you come here, please look at uh, the surroundings, what's happening here, and visualize how it's going to look in the next uh, 10 or 15 years. This is work in progress and that's what makes it so interesting. My thank you goes to all the collectors for providing their works of art, all those who have taken part in organizing this exhibition. Dear Johan, thank you very much for your wonderful publications that you made together with your team. It's wonderful to read about your experiences and looking back at the past and the quote from the first publication of the Gluck exhibition. Well, it is really interesting to see how this project has evolved over time. It is a great pleasure to have you here today. It is a pleasure that you are supporting us and our artists so much and I would like to also wish you a lot of joy, pleasure, be inspired by the works of art. Also on behalf of our governor, Johanna Mikkel Leitner. Thank you. The exhibition is now officially opened. Enjoy.